Hey everybody, it's Taylor Sparks and I'm back with another video about SciSpace, right? This platform here is SciSpace. And if you remember, it was actually one year ago, almost exactly that I recorded my first video on SciSpace. Um, it's a super cool thing. And in the year since then, they have made some really cool progress. They have not just been sitting and resting on their laurels. They have made their tool significantly better. So I wanna show you a couple things I can do. Um, the first one that I wanna show you is that they are now integrated with ChatGPT. So if you are not a user of ChatGPT, uh, you should be, <laughs> it's pretty great. Um, and if you look in this top left-hand corner, you'll notice that there are these custom GPTs, right? So it says right here, explore GPTs. If you click that, you'll notice that these are now custom tools that third parties, companies like SciSpace, have used ChatGPT to do something special, to build a special version of a GPT that's been fine-tuned to do something special. So you'll notice right here on the landing page, actually, it just happens to be, here's SciSpace, right as one of their featured or curated top picks for the week. We're gonna show you it in a minute. If it's not there up top, right, it's not being curated that week, if you scroll down to the research and analysis section, you'll find it there, there it is, number six. So this is a really cool product. If you check it out, it's gonna describe, it says, you know, do hours of research in minutes. Um, instantly access 287 million plus papers, analyze them with lightning speed, effortless draft content with accurate citations. Um, it's been cited, look at all these ratings, 10,000 plus ratings, 4.3, pretty awesome. So let's try it out. Let's see what this can actually do. So this looks similar to just like a chat GPT window, but it's not exactly. In fact, if you remember the early days of chat GPT, if you asked it to you know, write a paper on some subject, including references, it made up totally crazy references. Well, it's been a while and we've gotten better at our language, language models. And one of the things that SciSpace does is use RAG. If you don't know what RAG is, check out my Materials Informatics series. When I talk about large language models, we cover it. But basically, it's retrieval, augmented generation. It allows the large language model to look at a corpus of information, like a bunch of research articles. In SciSpace, they actually have 287 million papers. And it directs the large language model at that corpus of information, that text, and then from that text, it takes your query and it finds the chunk of information that's most relevant to your question from among those papers. And then it returns an answer, pulling with it the reference. And sometimes it'll pull exact quotes from the articles. So let's just see an example. You know, you can ask questions about any scientific paper that might be out there. Um, no guarantee it'll have them all, but it has a lot of them. So you can ask it, like I remember a while back, it was talking about aspartame, right? Like, can aspartame cause cancer? Right? That was a question that people were having because there were some recent studies that had come out. So first thing it's going to do is it's providing a high level summary of the response, right? It says what aspartame is, that it's an artificial sweetener. It says what things like the World Health Organization, the FDA, EFSA all say about it. It is known to do a few things. They've done some animal studies. It's summarizing them here. And then what I think is really cool down here, it'll actually pull the actual paper, right? and have a key insight, like what's the real nugget from that paper that it was able to find? Comprehensive review, and in that review, they found no consistent evidence that linked aspartame to cancer in humans. How about this one? A meta-analysis suggesting that typical consumption probably doesn't uh, increase cancer, or this one classified aspartame as possibly carcinogenic based on limited human evidence. And then just like before, this is a chat bot, so you can ask it like, okay, like, what would be an acceptable daily limit of aspartame, right? You can ask it that one, you know, and it'll, you know, respond just like that. And what's great about this is that it's not just like ChatGPT, because ChatGPT was trained one time on the corpus of internet, right? And now we're at, I'm using GPT uh, 4.0, right? But the idea is that it was trained infrequently, but these research articles roll out all the time. And this allows you to access the most up-to-date information using RAG. Um, and as always, you know, one of the cool things they do is you can click over here to SciSpace and follow up with more detail. You can say like, uh, tell me about aspartame and cancer. And here you're going to see the full treatment that SciSpace has to offer as opposed to just what's present here in their GPT. Um, the GPT, though, the benefit is that it is free. This is totally free to use, which is amazing. I love that they've made that available. So uh, you can try that out. Um, that said, what I have found from trying out both, both the standard, the free version of SciSpace, right, and trying out the uh, the paid version, is I find that the paid version, and you get what you pay for, it's, it's better. Um, both are useful, 
but having this paid version, you get really cool things. So it's able to find all of these articles and in real time, it's going to pull out what the key insights are. Um, it'll oftentimes tell you how many times they've been cited and things like that. So for example, here, this understanding the link between aspartame and cancer. This is a 2024 paper, an expert review of anti-cancer therapy. And it's got this really great summary. So I feel like sometimes people with scientific literature, especially if it's out of their area, they don't even know where to begin. And so they don't even try. And all of a sudden, SciSpace allows you to try and understand it. And you can you know, dig into this stuff and try and understand what's going on there. So very, very cool capability. Um, just like before, you can also you know, upload a paper here. If you had a paper of your own, let's grab one. So I'm going to upload um, a paper that I was looking at. This is one of my own papers where we use Gemini Pro. And I can say like, um, what, so I'll, I'm gonna ask a question about this paper. What other approaches are there for materials data um, extraction from literature using LLMs, right? Fair question. Because in that paper, we used Google's Gemini Pro to try and grab data from literature. Spoiler alert, it worked pretty awesome, right? But you can say, given that PDF that I just sent you, tell me what other things are out there. And so first thing it did is it summarized what happened in that paper and then check it out. It's able to grab a bunch of other papers and tell you like the first one's one we just did. And here it's showing you other ones. Of course, it found Cyber, it found Matt Cyber, which is pretty rad. And you could go on and keep on asking questions. So I think that this is a cool update because back then, a year ago, you could upload a single paper and ask it to sort of tutor you through that process. And that was useful. But now it has access to millions, 287 million papers to be exact, uh, which is pretty awesome. So I think you should check it out. Like I said, the uh, SciSpace GPT is present in this Explore GPT store. Um, do us a favor. If you like them producing free, awesome content, give them a rating, rate them with five stars. That would be awesome. And then if you want to, you decide, hey, this is useful enough that I want to pay for like the actual nice version. Let me give you a deal. I've got two coupon codes for you right here. Um, if you type in the coupon Taylor 40, that will give you 40% off of your annual subscription. Pretty rad. Or Taylor 20 will give you 20% off of your monthly subscription. So heck, I think this is good stuff. I will tell you that I am using this increasingly instead of Google Scholar. Let's just imagine the same question. If I'd gone to Google Scholar and I said, you know, can aspartame cause, here it is, cause cancer, right? You have to now open this up and read and try and figure out what it said, right? Um, here's that one that it, it summarized for us. Here, I would have to open this article up, pray that I have access to the PDF, which is not always a given. Um, and then I'd have to try and figure out what's going on here. And I think it's just so great to learn to use tools like LLMs to make this lit review process even better, especially because you can do it in a dialogue fashion. You can have a back and forth question and say, okay, well, tell me more about this. Well, who has cited this paper? And it does a really good job of answering those questions. So one more time, if you uh, want to give this a shot, I can recommend it. Taylor 40 for 40% off, Taylor 20 for 20% off. Okay, see you in our next video.